do a demonstration of installing and removing spiral locks. Um, first thing you need to do is to open the spiral lock, kind of like a little spring. This helps in putting the spiral lock in and also helps them when they're in the groove to take up any of the extra clearance from the groove tool. Um, I always start with the tab on the rod side of the piston. This will help you uh, get the spiral locks out later if you ever need to. You just start by putting the bottom part in the groove and then you just kind of walk it around with your fingers and pop it in. Just like just like that. You want to check, make sure one you have the correct number um, some pistons take one, some pistons take two. Consult your piston manufacturer for that information. Um, you just make sure that it's seated all the way around. And that's good and simple. How do we remove spiral locks? Removing them simple. Take a little small screwdriver. I usually have it filed down. One of the mistakes everyone seems to make is they go in there and they try to just pry it out. You try to pry it out, it keeps popping back in. The trick is to keep pushing down. So you get in behind it and just keep pushing down. And that pops it up right, right like that. At that point, you could either pop it around with the screwdriver, grab a little pair of pliers, do whatever. but always push down and go towards the middle and that will do it just like that.